Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody or Xcode. I smoke weed and make Call of Duty commentaries. In the background, you're watching a 30 and 8 free for all gameplay from the PS4. 1080p HD. Um, now the quality isn't gonna be the best because I use the recording th software that the PS4 has to offer. If you guys didn't already know that, um, go to T Martin's channel or, or uh, White Boy's channels. He is. They have tutorials on how to use the recording system, how to b broadcast on. Twitch TV, things like that, but anyways guys, so there's a PS4 gameplay in the background, I've transitioned from Xbox 360 over to PS4, um, my PSN is Xcode 42 no spaces, um, couldn't get the normal Xcode name, some assholes stole it, they don't even have PS4, so I can't message them to, uh, uh change it, but at this point, I'm just gonna keep the Xcode 42 name, I kinda like it, kinda, um, I, I was gonna do Xcode 40, 420, but I felt like that was a little too much. I don't know why I did 42, but, um, it is how it is, so, hope you guys enjoy this action-packed gameplay. I love free-for-all, it's probably one of my favorite game types on the PS4 called the Ghost, so, um, anyways... I have a life story to tell you guys, but before I get into that, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, uh, follow me on Instagram, all those links are always in the description. I'm very active on Twitter, um, Instagram not so much, Facebook not so much, mostly Twitter, so if you guys want to stay, in, stay connected with me, follow me on Twitter for video updates and things like that. So, let me jump into this life story of mine. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pump out as many life stories as I possibly can. Um, so, this life story was crazy. I gotta tell you guys, this was a crazy story of mine. So, um, this happened early, early this year. So, just beginning of spring, er, uh, late winter. Um, and it was actually the day that one of my really good friends in real life, one, his cat died, unfortunately. Um, and, I went outside to smoke a cigarette or smoke a bowl, something like that, and the neighbor uh, called me over thinking I was one of the house owners or like one of the people living at my, my buddy's house, and she started, she, she started telling me, she, was, she started yelling over, there's a dead animal in my driveway, Come, is it yours? And like, I was like, oh boy, like my friend's cat was missing for three days, so um, at, 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 that po at that moment in time, I was like, oh boy, I gotta go tell my my friend that his cat died, and it, it was a really, really emotional moment for me, because, um, I love that cat, that cat was awesome, I mean, it used to freak out and fucking scratch us all the time, but I mean, still, it was a really good, really good cat to have around, his name was Sancho, if you guys, um, were wondering, rest in peace, Sancho, um, so, the neighbors screaming over to me, telling for, for me to come over there and pick up this dead animal in her driveway. She didn't even say it was a cat, but I could automatically assume it was because when an animal goes missing for three days and you live on a busy road, like, one can only, can, one can only assume, but, so, I go inside, I go and tell, I go, I was the, the bearer of bad news, I go in there, I tell, tell my buddy that his cat, I believe his cat is in the neighbor's driveway, and he immediately gets really, really pissed because he he already has a very, very poor opinion on the, this neighbor because apparently she's a crazy lady, but um, this is the first time I've ever even talked to her. Um, I didn't even get face-to-face. -face. We were just yelling back and forth. I was trying to tell her that I didn't live there, and I was going to go tell the, the house owner. So I go in there, like I said, tell my buddy. He, t he tells his mom, and his mom and him walk outside. Um, they're all emotional, and they're all like, oh, shit, this better not be Sancho. And in my head, I was thinking the whole time, like, yeah, that's Sancho. Like, damn, this sucks. And, like, we get over there, and, like, oh, I I'll never forget the moment. Like, my buddy's face, and, my I mean, my buddy wasn't so, so upset about it. He actually took it like a champ. He actually, like, picked it up and uh, put it in a box, and we, we ended up doing a bur burial. But uh, let me continue with the story before I get on to that part. Um... His mom was so emotional, she started crying, and oh, it was so, so bad for me. I gotta say, this is probably one of the most emotional stories I've ever told on my channel, but, um, so we, we pick up this dead cat, and we, ha uh, my buddy puts it in a box, and, oh boy, that, oh boy, that cat, I, I can never forget, oh, the, 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 the look it was in oh gosh I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go into detail because that it's pretty graphic um i think i think it's got its, its head run over by a car or something it was really bad but anyways guys let me move on to the <laughs> the crazy part of the story so 
we go we we do this and we we bury the cat and uh we do a little bong ceremony we we take some bong hits for for sancho rest in peace sancho we, i even uh use some nail polish to put rest in peace sancho on a rock and put it on the burial grounds of where we buried him um we even did it really good uh we put some rocks over the box so no animals could dig it up um so anyways the next day okay after all this happens, um, the whole household, my buddy's household, is pissed as fuck at this neighbor because w they thought that the neighbor actually was just wasn't paying attention, being an asshole, and just ran the cat over because the cat was actually literally in one of the parking spots that the the cars usually park. So it was like you put two and two together, and you get that the neighbor was being either reckless or it was an accident. And if it was an accident, then I would understand that. But this neighbor, she's a fucking crazy bitch. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. So the next day rolls around. And I go outside to smoke a cigarette, I think. Um, by the way, guys, I'm on day five quitting cigarettes. Uh, just so you guys know. But So I go outside to smoke a cigarette. And I hear this lady screaming at me again. Have you seen my dog? I'm, I, I lost my dog. And I'm like, no, I haven't seen a dog. And... I don't know, I, my friend comes out because uh, I think he heard her yelling and um, he was just like, whoa, 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 do you see that dude? Yo, what is that? And I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck is that? And the neighbors have these Great Dane dogs, I think they're Great Dane, they're like really, really tall dogs, and I'm like, whoa, dude, is that a bear? And he's like, nah, that's a dog, that's a dog, I was like, alright, good, because uh, I thought there was a bear in his yard, but, um, so he, he, He's like, all right, that's definitely the neighbor's dog. And I'm like, oh, the neighbor just was asking me if there was a dog in our yard. And I was like, yeah, there's, um, she came outside again conveniently. And, uh, we were like, yo, your dog's in the fucking yard. And they're like, we were like, come and get it. And she was like, I don't want to cross the street. I'm going to get hit. And we ended up not doing anything. So she came over to the, to the yard and it, I'm not even kidding you guys. This is why I think this bitch is crazy. Soon as this dog saw her, the owner of the dog, that dog dashed into the road and almost tried to kill itself. I'm not even exaggerating or lying to you guys right now, I promise. The dog tried to jump in front of a car, and the lady ran in front of the car screaming, No! No! Like, oh, it was so traumatic and so crazy. And she ended up hitting the dog and being such a fucking bitch. And I was just so mad. So mad. And, like... The dog was okay, everything was okay, but that, that, I could just hear her screaming at the dog, and it was just so bad, and like, this was probably, sorry this wasn't a uh, humorous life story of mine, or, um, but, yeah, so that was my life story for the day, guys, the story of when Sancho died, and the story of when the crazy lady runs in the street looking for her dog, and, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Uh, life story. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point, feel free to drop a like, add it to your favorites, and subscribe for more. Please press that like button. It really helps share and support my channel. I can't say that enough, guys. Let's try and go for 100 likes on this commentary. I'd really, really appreciate it. I think that's very achievable. So, thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a nice day. Add me on PSN, Xcode A42, Xcode A. Oh, peace.